Hey everyone! I know it's been like forever since I've done a video and I really apologize for that but I've been so busy and yeah that's why I'm combining my February and my March favorites together. February was a really short month for me so I didn't really get to accumulate very many favorites and the same goes for March because I was like working like crazy. But like now that I've combined the two, I think I have a decent amount. So I'm just going to get right into it and I'm going to start with the only really like face skin product that I've been loving these past two months. And that is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Masks. And I've been using them like crazy. So I got the Facial Hydration Mask in Goji Berry. I love this one for like more daily use. This one I only use like, oh, I want to say once a week or twice a week. And this one's the Facial Clay Mask in Mint and Lemon. I feel like this one really gives me a good like pore cleansing type thing and I really really love it. So if you guys want to try masks, I think these are great because I usually have sensitive skin. I usually get allergic to a lot of things. But these ones work perfectly for me. And I think if you're afraid of trying something new, facial mask-wise, I think these would be really great to try for your first attempt. Okay, so I'm now going to move on to the makeup products. And I think I have quite a bit. If you guys watch my haul video, my online shopping haul video, I got makeup brushes from Outlook. And... Oh my god, I feel, I don't even know how I survived without these brushes because I actually I'm going to show you what I was working with before I got these brushes. This is the eye only eye brush I use for my eyeshadow. Yeah, this is how I apply my eyeshadow with this uh, broken doe foot type thing that I got from a winner's makeup brush collection. And yeah, I this is how I apply my eyeshadow. And seriously, this did not feel great on your eyes, this little plastic thingy. Yeah, I'm so happy that I got new brushes. So anyway, the three that I have been loving since I got these new brushes are these three. I got this angled shader brush thing that I really, really love. I used it today. I don't know if you guys can see it. This angled shader brush. I love this. I've been also loving this angled, like, skinny eyeliner looking brush. I don't know. There's no name on it. I, mean, I use it for eyeliner. That's what I use it for. So that's what I'm going to call it. And it's great for the eyeshadow eyeliner thing that I like to do on the top of my eyelid. I love it. And this big fat one for when I'm in a hurry and I just want to, like, slap it on. But not really. But I really love using this one. And yeah, I do not know how I survived without proper eye brushes. I really love these. Those were what I, like, I first tried my crown brushes in February. And I only really tried the eye brushes. But for this month, I tried the blush brush. And oh my god, like, I feel like I never really experienced makeup like this before. I don't know. Because like it's just been applying so beautifully ever since I've been using these eye brush like these eye brushes and this blush brush. But I love these brushes. And this is the blush brush. And actually I've only used these four so far, so there's still more to discover. <laughs> Another favorite of these past two months, which started originally in February, was using pencil eyeliner. And not just like any pencil eyeliner, I've been loving this Elizabeth Arden one that's in the color Espresso. I've been really liking brown eyeliner. Brown pencil eyeliner. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's been a while since I did a video and I feel like I was, I like, I'm starting all over again. I'm really like jittery. I'm sorry. But anyway, back to the eyeliner. <clears throat> This is a great color. I don't know what else to say with my brown eyes. I really think it's a lot less harsh. I think I've said this before in a video. I think brown's a lot less harsh than black. And I, yeah, I think it's more natural and perfect for day to day. So yeah, I've been loving that. And I'm still using it. Another favorite of this month is a, a certain lip combo that I've been wearing. I think within the past two weeks or so. So it's pretty recent, this lip combo. But I actually... Okay, so I bought the Nicki Minaj, uh, what is it called? 
the Viva Glam, the Nicki Minaj Viva Glam lipstick just recently, and I totally forgot that I had the Lady Gaga one from like years ago, the Viva Glam one, I think it's the Lady Gaga one, I don't know, Viva Glam one, and I definitely just rediscovered this, and look how much I hadn't used, like look how much I have <laughs> not used of this, and I'm pretty sure I got this like at least two years ago, and I'm so happy that I rediscovered it, it's like the perfect color for my lips, I think. I think it matches my color perfectly, as dark as this color looks. But yeah, I really like how it looks on my lips. And as my combo, what did I pick that up? I've been using my EOS lip balm in, I think it's Honeydew Melon, or Honey, yeah, Honeydew Melon, and the Viva Glam One lipstick. And on top of it, I put this Revlon lip gloss in Peach Petal. And I really like the combo of the three. And I've been wearing it pretty much every day because it's so neutral. And it's perfect. For the month of February, I wore a lot of lip balm. Like, I guess because it was so cold and very, like, dry outside that I ended up using up all of my baby lips. And it's the quenched one. The one that smells really clean. But I used all of this in like a month, and that's why I moved on to the green EOS. But this Baby Blips is so nice. I highly recommend you guys try these out because they apply so nicely. And my lips, I don't know, they've never been so smooth. And I definitely think I'm going to buy like two more of these like for backups in the future because I go through lip balm like crazy. But yeah, I really love this, as you can tell, because I definitely hit as far as it could go for this and I loved it. Another beauty favorite was a perfume that I've been like wearing every single day. Like it's just I just gravitate towards it and I don't even know why, but I like the smell is great. And I've had this for almost a year. But I love it. Maybe not almost a year. I think I got it in like August of last year. But I love it and I had a travel size, so like, if you can t see, I haven't really used that much because I used the travel size until like, last month in February. But yeah, it's the Katy Perry Pur 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 Perfume. The bottle isn't the prettiest or the most chic, but I really love the smell. And if you guys haven't smelled it, you should definitely try it the next time you're at your local drugstore or something, because it, really, it smells really good. And it's actually not the most expensive per perfume out there. Now for the random favorites and I want to start with these earrings and I have been just rotating towards like different color rose rose earrings. I don't know what these are called but they're like flowers and they're sparkly and I got them for Ardeen's. It was like three for ten dollars so I got two packs of these flower earrings, three colors in each pack, and then I got these diamond studs, like who, like fake obviously, these cheap ones that came in like a pack of like 20 or something. Anyway, who doesn't need diamond earrings, like everybody wears them and it's always good to have 20. Yeah, I've been loving these flower earrings like crazy. I've been rotating them while wearing them to work and like even when I'm off and stuff like that. I've been wearing these blue ones, and these corally ones, and these black ones the most. Actually, I've been liking purple too. I've been liking all of them. You guys can't tell. I don't even know if you guys can see these. There's the purple ones. There's the corally ones. Coral. There's the pinky ones that are really nice as well. They kind of look really naked on my ears though. And these white ones, very nice. I like these ones too. I really like them all of a sudden. And the black ones. And of course the blue ones on my ears. But yeah, I've been loving these earrings. I think they're kind of in now because I've been seeing them like everywhere. So yeah, I've been loving those earrings. Another random favorite is kind of an obsessed favorite. Like, I really, really, really love the Hunger Games right now. When it came out on Friday, March 23rd, I went to see the show at 10.20, and then the next day I went back 
on the 24th and I watched the matinee. Like I've seen it twice already and it's only been out for three days. Yeah, I definitely love <laughs> this movie. I'm kind of addicted. I bought the cup at the Cineplex and I also got a Mockingjay pin exactly like Cat misses. Like it's kind of a, it's a replica obviously but I love it. And I've been wearing it on my jean jacket like every day. I kind of look like a nerd, but I don't care because it's an awesome movie and I love the book. If you guys haven't seen the movie, please go see it. If you've read the books, I bet you probably love it a lot more because I th feel like they left a lot out in the movie, but I don't know. If you feel the same way, please comment down below because I love talking about the movie. I, like, I'm completely addicted right now and I don't know. And tell me if you're Team Peter or Team Gale because I love talking about that too. But yeah, um, to go along with this Hunger Games collection, I bought at the beginning of March all four nail polishes of the China Glaze Hunger Games collection. And I got four of the colors, and I'm actually wearing two of them on my nails right now. You guys can't see. And I got the color Riveting, which is the orange color on my nails. It's very pretty. It's like orange with like gold shimmer. I love it so much and it applies like so easily. It's one of those colors that you can just apply without even like having to think. I, don't know, I just love it. And another color I got was Stone Cold and this one comes out matte and it also applies as easily as riveting. And it's just a, like a cement kind of color. It's like black with a lot of grey shimmer. It's like a grey cement kind of color is what I have to describe. Stone Cold pretty much says it all. But it applies matte, and I loved that. It's very unique. And another color is Electrify. And that's the one that I have as on top of riveting. It's the glitter. I purposely made sure I wore these nails to the, when, <laughs> to the movie when I first saw it. Yeah, I'm that addicted. I just had to put that out there. And, oh, I'm going to be a close up. It has gold and red and orange in it, I think. Yeah. And the fourth color of the Hunger Games collection that I got is this beautiful color, and I think the most unique out of them all is Fast Track. And it's this, like, taupey, beigey, neutral color, and it has, I swear, it's like goldy, greeny, yellowy, it's, a, it's all one color, just... <laughs> But it's like goldy green. I think it's more green. I say it's more green. Shimmer in it. And I think this will apply just as well as the Stone Cold and the Riveting. And I haven't really tried this yet, but I plan on putting it on my nails next. Because it's so cool. And I'd probably get a lot of use out of this one because I love it so much. Oh! I forgot a makeup favorite. It's the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in Bad to the Bronze. And... Yeah, because I've been working so much, and I, I don't know, I've been trying to get as much sleep as possible, because I've been working, I want to say, maybe 50 hours a week lately. I've been just putting this all over my lid when I don't have the time, and it looks like I actually made an effort, but I, <laughs> but I never did. And it's bad to the bronze, and a lot of people have been talking about these already, so I'm not really going to elaborate on those. But now on to the rest of my random favorites. I've been loving these moccasins. And the reason I bought these is kind of pathetic. I saw a picture of Selena Gomez online wearing these, and they're from American Eagle. And I had to order them online because they didn't have my size. The American Eagle in my area only carry size 6 because there's not very many tiny people I guess. I don't know. It's really hard to find shoes in the store here. I usually buy all my shoes online. But yes, these are size 5 and they're just these moccasin flat things with stud detailing at the tip. And there's a bow. But they're really cute and it's kind of pathetic that I bought them because Selena Gomez has them but I secretly really like everything she wears and I love her style. So yeah, I really love these. They're super comfortable. I had to break them in at first. I got a, like I didn't get a blister, but I got a little bit of a redness behind my heel, and I think it kind of scabbed a little bit. But after yeah, after that first time of walking in them, they they're so comfortable. They're easy to slip into, and they go with pretty much everything because they're black. So I really love these, and I've been wearing them 
every chance that I am off <laughs> whenever I'm not working. But yeah, I love these. My last favorite of the month is kind of ridiculous. You guys could probably think I'm like this kind of person that gets obsessed and addicted really easily. But like, I'm, not I'm not that of a, an addictive person. But when it comes to certain things, like when I really like something, I really like something. So one of those things that I've been really liking are the magazines that have been coming out lately, all these spring issues. I have been obsessed. And I literally have all of them right in front of me. So I'm going to try and lift all of them because they're so freaking heavy. But here they are. All of these. I've been reading all of these and I've been loving them so much. Like, I'm going to count them for you guys. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. I'll even go through them with you. <laughs> but I mean, like, not go through them, but I'll show you one. Like, I got the April issue of People of Style Watch that I've been reading like crazy because it's one of my most recent ones. But I love this. And I got the People of Style Watch with Selena Gomez on the front. Obviously, why wouldn't I buy this? I love Selena Gomez. But yes, Teen Vogue with Ashley Benson. <gasps> Selena Gomez and Ashley Benson are actually in a movie together, Spring Breakers. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I really want to know if there's a trailer out already. So link that bot into the bottom below and I will love you to the moon back. <laughs> but yeah, this is a prom issue. I know I've already had prom, but I love her, so I had to get that. Kendall and Kylie Kardashian. I just love what's in it because they have a Hunger Games special, if you guys can't see. Yeah, that's the reason I bought it. I'm not a Kardashian fan. Vogue with Adele. Adele looks gorgeous here. I had to buy it. And it's spring. You gotta know all the fashion trends, people. You gotta know what's going on. You gotta know what's up. In Style with Jennifer Aniston. Glamour with, oops, Glamour with Amanda Seyfried, I'm so sorry girl, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Amanda Seyfried, Fried, yeah, Lulu, I love this magazine, Lulu, I don't know if it's just a Canadian magazine because I know there's um, Canadian prices in this and Canadian stores and there's a uh, headquarter thing in Montreal. But anyway, they have a Toronto edition. I think it might be a Canadian magazine. But anyway, I love this magazine because I can actually afford the stuff in this magazine. So I always pick this up. And it's actually really cheap. It's a $3.99. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys live in Canada, read Lulu. It's actually not that bad. It looks, at first, I thought it was like a like middle-aged woman kind of magazine. I don't even know why. But when I actually gave it a chance, I actually love it. And every time there's a new issue, when it's not the wedding kind of issues, I buy it. And the last magazine that I recently bought is W with Kate Moss on the front. And I've actually never purchased an issue of W before, but I love how big it is. I know it's kind of crazy, but I love how big this is. And the photography in this one is amazing. I know some people kind of find it kind of freakish, but like the photography is actually awesome. I love the modeling and the way they style their pictures. So hold on, I'm trying to find something really nice. So yeah. I know some people kind of find this really freaky, but I find it really cool and very artistic. I don't know. I really like this. And I think there's more to this spread. Oh, here's another picture. The spiders. <laughs> My boyfriend would love that. But yeah. Fashion magazines all week. I, I mean, all week. But yeah, I have been loving fashion magazines. If you guys know any other good magazines that I should, I don't know, take a look at, I would love to know your what you guys like. So that's the end of this video. I'm so sorry that I've been away. I've really missed you guys. And I've been trying my hardest to get videos out there, but with how busy I've been, it's been kind of hard. Because whenever I have a break, I'm just super tired and I don't know. But now that I've had like a few days off, I'm actually like 
I'm ready to get back into it and I've been doing some more shopping so you may see other hauls sooner or later. I still got to do that beauty tag that I mentioned a really long time ago but I will do that. The 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag. I will do that. I promise. And yeah, I'll try and do a lot more. So until then, I'll talk to you later guys. Bye!